Hello world, welcome back to the Razer RC. We've got the brand new Rilardo Omni Terminator. A brand new little, I'd say 12 scale four wheel drive monster truck. It is 3S capable as well. And we're gonna be taking a look at this as well as driving it. Uh, so first off, it does come with their standard radio. Um, works totally fine, never had any real issues. It does have a hard plastic wheel. Uh, some basic adjustments here for trim, dual rate, that kind of stuff. Um, I did notice the dual rate was turned down a little bit on the throttle side, so it is 3S capable. Mine came with a 3S pack, 2200 milliamp hours. Uh, so I think that's going to be kind of a monster on this little little guy here. So maybe that's why they turned down the power out of the box. But uh, yeah, something to be aware of. Make sure you get full speed there. Uh, and then a little box of goodies. So some extra battery straps, I think, for longer batteries. Some more stickers. So like it comes with like a little, I don't know, handkerchief or something here. So that's kind of cool. Some basic tools, T-wrench, Allen wrenches, a wheelie bar that you will have to fix yourself. And then not sure what these are. A uh, little double side tape, some more stickers, um, parts list, and then a pretty good manual actually, very thick. It's like a little book, all paper, but an instruction manual in a few different languages, Chinese, I think German, French, Spanish, and English, of course. So, uh, nice little uh, actually manual. I think it's got some parts diagrams and stuff here in the back. Well, there was parts somewhere. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, a few uh, different goodies that come in the box. Here's the truck itself. So it is a little bit smaller than like a Traxxas Stampede, a little bit bigger than a Savage XS. Uh, I think it's somewhere on 10 inch uh, wheelbase there. And then, uh, yeah, body looks really nice. Uh, sliders here on the roof, um, little tethers to hold on your body clips, even little mirrors. So yeah, pretty nice looking body. A uh, little coverage here in the back for the uh, bed, which is a common breakage point uh, on these little monster trucks. And then the truck itself looks pretty cool. It, my, I think it does come in a carbon fiber and aluminum version. So mine came with the aluminum version, which I think is going to be the one that you will want to get for a battery. Yeah, carbon fiber just doesn't hold up as well to rocks and you know debris and stuff like that. So I think this is probably going to be the one to go, but we'll see. Very, very beefy arms uh, all the way around. Aluminum hinge pin braces, as you can see there. Uh, little uh, washers for your screws so they don't pull through the bumper. So wrap around front bumper looks really good. LEDs here in the front as well. Aluminum shocks, uh, adjustable preload collars, little covers for the shocks as well. Just looks pretty amazing. Here's a little motor here. I'm not sure the size. I think it does come in a couple different versions. Mine looks like a 28 by I want to say 35, 40, something like that. Um, but they do make a bigger one as well, I think, the, on the carbon fiber version. Sliding motor mount there, center differential as well in the back. Here's a Rilardo separate ESC and receiver, so that's nice. Uh, you can see the steel dog bones uh, down the middle for the center drive shafts. Front and rear are going to have uh, CVAs, it looks like, in the front. In the rear, it looks like we've got... Uh, I think also CVA. No, those are dog bones. So dog bones in the rear. In the front, we got CVA. So uh, yeah, you got plastic upper and lower arms. Uh, you know, kind of more. I guess like double wishbone, eight scale ish looking there. Uh, plastic knuckles, plastic uh, hubs as well. But pretty beefy overall. Heavily braced front section here on the. Um, Servo saver, it looks like an adjustable servo saver there, so you can tighten that down if you want. Here's a little wire for the LED lights. Really nice tire manage or cable management there. Uh, the receiver box is quite small, so I do actually have a larger Rilardo uh, receiver. Um, don't have it here handy with me for the CT8A, but yeah, I noticed that did not fit. So you will have to use small receivers, more like a four channel type of thing. Six channel maybe at the most. Um, but yeah, really nice. I mean, look at the bracing on this thing. It's kind of ridiculous. Center diff is all the way in the back. So uh, battery forward, you see in the back, kind of a techno style layout actually is how I would describe the electronics package. And then aluminum shock towers front and rear. They are machined. They are 7075. So pretty amazing. I think, I don't know if the chassis is 7075. Um, I don't know. We'll have to double check. The hinge and braces are not but the chassis might be, but the shock towers definitely are. So that's that's pretty amazing for this thing. Adjustable body mounts uh, all the way around. Uh, obviously, uh, differentials front and rear fluid filled. They do have sway bars uh, front and back. So yeah, 
Those are pretty nice. Uh, just like a really well equipped vehicle. And uh, have links in the description below where you can pick one of these up for 200 bucks. Pretty ridiculously cheap. So um, amazing what they were able to pack into the thing. It does come with an XT60 connector as well. So uh, yeah, that's a quick look at the Relarlo Terminator. Um, one thing I noticed the graphic it says Omni Terminator. Looks more like a Omni Predator to me, <laughs> but uh, you know, interesting as well. They definitely are going with their 80s graphics there. Um, yeah, so let's take this thing out and drive it. Alrighty, we got the 3S pack installed, 2200 milliamp hour. Uh, dead did set the steering trim. Dual rate was perfect out of the box. There is no throttle calibration on this ESC, so you just kind of run it as is. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, we're all set with the Rilardo Omni Terminator on 3S. Okay, not quite as crazy as I thought. Alrighty, traction today is a little damp. Gonna be some puddles. Let's see. Okay, tires. That's full throttle. Whew. Okay. Good rotation in the air, actually. Struggling with traction here. Suspension wise, pretty close. Maybe a hair stiff in the rear. But uh, yeah, a little stiff in the rear. Traction a little uh, worse than I was expecting. It's also a little slower. But uh, let's try a little bit of a bigger jump. Let's see if we can line this up. Okay. Goes about 15 feet high. You can definitely backflip it. No issues there. Entertaining. <laughs> Needs a little bit of traction tuning. Maybe the. The discs need to be tuned a little bit as well. Probably what I need to spend some time doing. Little yellow orange lights in the front. Oops. <laughs> yeah, a bit muddy as you can see. Got some little puddles and stuff. Do this without getting completely. <laughs> you can definitely feel that center diff on landing on power. It doesn't like grab and flip quite as much as a, a slipper clutch equipped vehicle. Just another little advantage of center differentials. They land there a little more forgiving because the power can kind of redistribute across all four wheels. Um, oops, ooh, couldn't correct there, Interesting. I think I was slapping a bit off the uh, face of the jump here. Entertaining, handles. Handles well, it just needs a little bit more traction. It's got kind of a 
This is called Proline Trencher Stylish Tires. Um, but a bit of a harder compound, so. Um, maybe, oops. Not the best. Tuning, I think. But we'll figure it out. It does take 12 millimeter hexes, so you can stick on standard rows of tires, which is kind of cool. They're pretty entertaining on like these two, three foot, five foot, ten foot jumps. <laughs> fun one all right let's take a little closer look so yeah truck looks good uh it doesn't look like i broke anything i didn't realize they had so many shock mounting locations uh oh it's because you can flip the arms that's why that's why there's four i've never seen that before uh that's interesting uh but yeah shocks work pretty well i mean after running a pack through it um suspension has definitely settled a bit so i'll probably crank down the preload collars a little bit uh seems a little over damp to me um, especially in the rear so I would probably lighten the shock fluid a little bit in the rear maybe a little bit in the front and a little bit more in the rear something like that but uh, yeah fun little uh, first drive of the Omni Terminator did not break anything initial thoughts fun little truck handles well maybe different tires depending on your surface these seem like maybe more of a street tire I mean they worked okay on this damp dirt but probably should be getting more traction than that um power a little, little slower than i thought uh, i'll be honest you know I, I do have a savage xs and this thing on 3s feels about like that on 2s so um you know not quite as fast as I was expecting for a tiny little uh, 3s vehicle but it probably is heavier than a savage so Anyways, uh, first quick thoughts, we'll definitely drive this some more and maybe do a little tuning. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe buttons. Look for more videos soon. Thanks for watching.